I will describe about the design pattern in Java. So especially what is the design pattern, how many types of design patterns I am going to explain you briefly. So after that I will show you one design, particular design pattern, how to implement that one. In this example I am going to take a singleton design pattern. Uh, let's start with the design patterns. So what is exactly design pattern? Design pattern is a uh, typically solution to commonly occurring problems in software design. So uh, this is uh, nothing but in brief uh, design pattern is a solution to a problem in software design. Uh, that's what the design pattern is all about. And uh, over a 20 years back, uh, there is a book uh, which is defined by a four guys called uh, Gang of Four. So that book name is uh, Design Patterns, Elements of Reusable Object Oriented Software. Uh, and according to this uh, book, uh, there are uh, total uh, 23 design patterns uh, and which are uh, categorized as a uh, three types. And before that, uh, gang of four, who are those? So I mentioned here clearly four authors of uh, that book. Uh, uh, which is written uh, over 20 years back and uh, uh, first guy is uh, Erich Gamma and the Richard Hell, Ralph Johnson and uh, John Slides. These are the four guys that defined uh, this book. So according to uh, this uh, Gang of Four Design Patterns book, uh, uh, they categorized uh, three types of uh, uh, design patterns. One is a creational design pattern and uh, uh, structural design pattern, behavioral design pattern. Uh, definitely, yeah, just being a software guy, uh, we uh, generally uh, heard uh, here uh, most of the times so singleton, singleton design pattern, prototype design pattern, and proxy design pattern, chain of responsibilities, this kind of words, and some of them might be already used or familiar with those design patterns. So uh, when we categorize, when we consider uh, uh, creational design pattern, uh, so creational design pattern contains the uh, five design patterns like object creation related logic will be there here. So first one is uh, singleton design pattern. So what is exactly singleton? Name itself describes uh, single means uh, only one instance of an object is created uh, entire that application. So for example, in our application, there is a requirement, there is a class, uh, that class has to be instan instantiated only once. That time we will use this uh, singleton design pattern. And uh, there are some rules uh, how to uh, define a, a class as a singleton. I am going to show you practically uh, later. So second one, prototype. So it creates a new object from existing object. That means it won't create new object because creating new object is a more expensive according to our requirement. If it requires to create a prototype, means already defined on prototype, from there create the object and modify according to us. Then we go for prototype. Uh, design pattern and uh, factory design pattern. This is very, these are very uh, famous uh, and day-to-day uh, -day life we also use these, uh, these uh, creational design patterns. So creates object without specifying the exact uh, class name to create. So it will hide the creation logic of uh, object and uh, that means uh, ID is uh, abstract. We know, we, we client doesn't know, uh, doesn't uh, uh, create the object, just he will pass the class name and he will get the object of that particular class. And abstract one more design pattern, so that is abstract factory. Abstract factory is a factory of factory, means it is a one level ahead abstraction of factory. So builder factory like that uh, structural design pattern you know uh, first one is proxy design pattern 
so in our uh, frameworks uh, like uh, struts uh, spring hibernate are there right uh, if you take the uh, spring uh, spring aop aspect oriented object uh, that uh, model completely built on uh, 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 proxy design pattern only so provides a placeholder interface uh, to an uh, underlying object to control access uh, reduce cost uh, or reduce complexity proxy design pattern this is what so according to proxy design pattern so uh, it will wrap the actual object and uh, uh, according to uh, this proxy design pattern uh, uh, that uh, proxy guy have the complete control over the uh, uh, client call when to call what to call uh, those controls will be there uh, in the proxy design pattern. So that is about uh, uh, proxy design pattern and uh, packet design pattern uh, we call uh, uh, session packet also. It provides a simple interface to a more uh, complex uh, underlying uh, objects this is uh, one of the most uh, important uh, design pattern also and the composite uh, adapter bridge uh, flyweight and decorator these are uh, comes under a category of uh, structural design patterns so next uh, behavioral design pattern chain of responsibilities so delegates uh, uh, this chain of responsibility design pattern design pattern delegates uh, commands to a chain of uh, processing objects let uh, uh, take the struts so in the struts uh, action select is there uh, which will act as a front controller and uh, every request uh, comes to that struts application it must go through from the uh, action select only so action select uh, delegates uh, commands to chain of uh, processing objects uh, like uh, First, um, it will uh, get the complete. It will read the um, um, web.xml. Uh, um, sorry, starts uh, config dot uh, xml. That is uh, starts uh, configuration file, and uh, uh, it will uh, create uh, um, and uh, it will create the form object, uh, and uh, it will uh, populate the input uh, parameters into that uh, particular form object. Uh, then it will validate uh, that form objects uh, if any uh, error is there then uh, it will revert uh, according to configuration else uh, again it will create one action class and action class will uh, communicate with the service class uh, to get the uh, uh, services and uh, service uh, class will uh, communicate with the DAO class uh, to get the data from database and a DAO class ultimately contact the database and get the data that data will be returned to the service service will be returned to the uh, action uh, class then uh, in the service class only all the business logic will be implemented and output will be returned to the action class once it, it receives again it will return the controller to the action servlet so these are the step by step uh, uh, we can say um, tasks so it will take uh, chain of responsibilities in that context uh, we will use chain of responsibility design pattern like uh, command um, and one more is command interpreter it iterator mediator memento observer state strategy template method and template method we widely use in the uh, jpa and uh, all uh, ORM frameworks. So visitor, these are come under uh, uh, behavioral uh, design patterns. Uh, uh, okay, I'll show you one by one in later videos uh, uh, practically. So today I'm going to show you the singleton design pattern, like uh, what is the exactly uh, a singleton design pattern I already explained and how to implement practically. Uh, I, I'm going to show you. So for that, First, uh, we have to um, um, uh, take any ID, like uh, in my system, you can see uh, Eclipse is there, STS is there. Since it is a uh, 
core java related one so i am using in the uh, eclipse id so first uh, create one package dot uh, singleton already it is there so com dot uh, java hangout dot singleton if you want a description about uh, this package just uh, click on this else uh, not required finish click on finish so it is a maven project it is showing the symbol maven project so main advantage of maven project is uh, it will create the structure of project and it will handle the dependencies we do need to add any jar uh, externally so um, uh, just we have to uh, um, enter the dependencies uh, whatever we required since uh, i'm going to simple uh, uh, singleton design pattern implementation here we no need to any jar file that's why uh, this is not that much important in this scenario just then create this is a shortcut way uh, when you mouse over here it's showing new class just click on this one and write any class name i'm giving singleton singleton so after that uh, you can see whether uh, this class should be pack public or abstract final whatever uh, we want according to in our case uh, it should be public that's why by default also modifier is a public after that uh, methods also already predefined methods are there so if you want a public static void main just click this one then you no need to write a public static void main in our class it automatically uh, added to this class so in it it abstract uh, here uh, generate uh, comments so generally in real time we'll provide the comments uh, who, who is the author what is the uh, um, uh, class doing and description small like brief description and method level uh, comments also we'll provide okay. then click finish it will create so first here we have to do three things um and the singleton design pattern supports uh, two ways one is uh, eager one is eager another one is uh, lazy initialization initialization sir in this one i'm sure i'm going to in this example i'm going to show you uh, lazy initialization so for this uh, first uh, we have to create uh, one static uh, reference uh, variable create uh, private constructor and define factory method so here why we need this private constructor means it will avoid avoid to create the object outside from this class uh, it must be like a singleton class must contains these three things so factory method it will give the um, like it will return the static Uh, method return the instance of that uh, same class so let uh, define the first one is uh, the static reference private uh, static so same class reference uh, has to be created here so just to type a uh, few words and uh, control space uh, it will give the uh, options uh, which one we have to select since uh, this is the, our class i'm going to select this one Uh, give one name instance name reference name instance anything then and second one create a private constructor private constructor will avoid to create the object of this class from outside 
that is the main intention private uh, single term again i told the control space and uh, this is the constructor no need the empty constructor only then uh, define a factory method uh, public uh, static uh, which will return uh, same class object uh, control space get uh, instance is integer get a single term instance then so as i told this is the lazy instances and in definition that's why when request comes that time instance will be created so instead of creating a, um, a while defining only so for that uh, first we have to there is a chance if you directly create the object uh, like uh, return instance control space that's it so if you create a directly like this uh, there is a problem if two uh, two request comes at the same time there might be chance to and uh, this is every time every request uh, it will create the instance of that class uh, this is not the one first we have to check whether that instance is uh, created or null or not if null then only create the instance so instance uh, equal to equal to null just uh, check that one if null then create the object so here in the line number 13 uh, instance uh, reference contains the null and line number 20 we checked uh, instance equal to equal to null then it will enter to line number 20 and it will instance it and assign finally it will return the object of uh, the single turn so here uh, one problem is there so if two requests comes same time two threads uh, will act uh, on the same object so that time there is a chance to create two instance but according to singleton design pattern only one instance should be created so how can we handle that scenario so by using synchronized here we can use two ways one is public static synchronized synchronized like this so again here there is a problem we are uh, using synchronized uh, at uh, method level so every time it is it, it is a performance uh, issue because every time uh, it allows uh, only one thread inside that uh, method so that is not uh, the case just we have to check only once uh, whether that uh, instance uh, is null or not so uh, instead of uh, so instead of uh, providing this we will uh, uh, give after checking uh, if instance is equal to equal to null then just check here uh, synchronized class level synchronized singleton dot class then keep this one again for uh, safer side uh, you can check uh, double you can double check uh, instance equal to equal to null put here that's it this is the singleton uh, creation of a class so at any point of time it will return only one singleton so we are go, uh, we will test whether it is creating one instance or multiple instances so for that uh, i will define uh, one simple uh, method public uh, wide uh, print object and uh, it will print uh, object uh, system this is shortcut uh, hash code we have to check uh, hash code hash code is same that means only one object if hash codes are different of two or more objects then that means uh, uh, multiple objects are creating 
hash code unique okay hash code Defining singleton is done. Just uh, I'm going to test this one. You can need to create one demo class uh, singleton demo click. Here we need a uh, main method main and control space. Uh, it will show you the method complete signature. So here, uh, what is that uh, singleton? object one equal to we cannot create uh, uh, object of uh, singleton by using a new keyword because uh, it contains the um, private uh, uh, constructor let's see what it says singleton so see here the constructor singleton is not usable that means it is a private so that private constructor avoids to create the object of that particular class outside so we have to use that factory method that is a static method dot singleton like that we call uh, in three times of this method uh, we'll see whether it is giving a uh, same object or uh, different uh, object one dot we define one method print object which is defined in a singleton class which is print the hash code of uh, object you can run uh, multiple ways uh, one is uh, right click on this class and uh, run as uh, java application else uh, you can also run uh, uh, through the keyboard uh, control f11 see uh, hash code of uh, object so we got the uh, like uh, three times uh, object we call get instance uh, single method get uh, instant uh, single met singleton method three times so three times uh, this method uh, returns the same object how can we say same object see hash code of that object is uh, same that's it on the singleton design pattern implementation thanks for watching the this video please uh, if you like this subscribe and the channel